Uh, that sounds like a threat to me. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Hit that join button so you join the Tatum Squad. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Before I get knee deep into this, I want to remind you once again, make sure you still subscribe to my channel. A lot of people have been reporting that they've been unsubscribed, that they don't get any of my notifications. So check your subscription and check that you've hit the bell so you get notifications anytime BTA to make these videos. Now, on to the subject at hand. How does these liberals, or should I say how do these liberals get away with saying some of the things that they've said? If the roles were reversed, if the shoes were on the other foot, there would be mayhem, chaos, and confusion. They will be banning people off of social media. These people will be losing their jobs. And, and, and pastors will be coming out saying that they will go to hell over the stuff that these liberals are doing and getting away with it. Let me give you a perfect example. Miss Cynthia Johnson, a representative from Michigan, state representative for, for the state of Michigan, who already in a hearing with the Trump's legal team came out, doxed one of the witnesses with, who have sworn under oath that her testimony is true, doxed her, wanted to know her name, looking around at colleagues, making sure everybody knows the spelling of her name so that they can dox her. Deranged liberal lunatic. And if that wasn't enough, what does she do, ladies and gentlemen? She gets on social media and makes a very direct, concrete, uh, 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 irrefutable threat towards Trump supporters. You ain't got to believe me. I'm going to show it to you right here on the video. Let's go to it. Shout out to my boy Drew Hernandez. Drew Hernandez is an investigative reporter with TatumReport.com. He also have a podcast at 5 p.m. every day on Tatum Report. So go check out Drew Hernandez. That's my brother from another mother. Now, I want you to listen to this, this lady. Lunacy, ladies and gentlemen. How do you get away with it? And like I've been saying, and this is going to be my theme from 2020 through 2021, why is it always black folks that are doing this? Everybody that give me grief on my social media happen to be black. Why, 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 why is the black people got such a problem? And you just don't openly do this in front of everybody. Let's roll the film. Let's, let's let her talk. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't. Why do her eyes look like this? This is demonic. They, 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 them, them eyes, they, they, this whole this whole little look with this ball fade is demonic. Let, I'm gonna let her finish. Playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do it right. Be in order. Make them pay. Make them pay. Be in order. Those of you who are soldiers, you know what to do. How is this not a direct threat? She should lose her position immediately. She should be investigated and also, she should be charged for inciting violence because the next person in Michigan do anything to a Trump supporter that's a part of the army or whatever she want to call them. If you're, if you're a part of that and you do something to a Trump supporter, she's complicit. She just told you what to do. You know your working orders. She's threatening Trump supporters. She's not threatening individuals who are fighting against our democracy, right? She's not talking about a behavior. She's talking about a type of person. So no matter where you, where you sit at on the spectrum of, of Trump supporters, she's talking to you. This is dangerous coming from a politician who's supposed to be in some, in some form of fashion impartial. You may be associated with a particular party, whether it's Democrat or Republican. In this case, it's one of these leftist lunatic Democrats. You may be associated with a party, but that does not mean that you have a right to come out and threaten a particular person who supported a particular presidential candidate and you think everything should be uh, uh, fine and dandy. This is what they do, ladies and gentlemen. 
this is what this lady has done. She tried to dock somebody at, a, at, at, the, at the Michigan hearing, and now she's threatening people on social media. This is a direct threat. She made the threat and said, tread lightly, which means that you better watch where you're going. Then, then she said, Trump supporters, we've had enough. At the end of enough means there's going to be some action after that. And for those of you who are warriors, or whatever she said, take your position pretty much. You know what to do. Make them pay. What else do she need to say to convey the fact that she's trying to promote a level of violence disproportionately to a group of people who happen to support President Trump? I, I, how do they get away with it, ladies and gentlemen? But the beauty of this is we have an opportunity to expose them. Everybody who's been supporting these people, we're exposing them. You know where they stand. You don't have to guess. You don't have to ponder in your own mind. I'm showing you right now what this lady said. This is evilness. This is betrayal of our Constitution. You should not, she should not be in public office making these statements publicly. Why does she make them publicly, Brandon? Because nobody's going to do nothing about it. Nobody's going to do anything about it. That's why she's making it public. So I had to expose her. Cynthia Johnson, Michigan House of Representative, State Representative, Y'all need to go look up her social media and comment on her social media and let her know in that video that that's not appropriate for you to say as a sitting Congress member, a state House of Representative member. That's not appropriate for you to say. And we don't need that in this country. People are claiming that we want to be united and everything else. But if you're going to be united, then y'all the one to claim that you're the party of unity. Start acting like it. We already know what happened in the election. Y'all need to start acting like y'all got some, got some common sense. And people need to start holding these politicians accountable or they're going to run rampant. I could talk about this for three or four more hours. But I want you to watch the rest of my videos. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what I said. Is B. Tatum tripping or am I on to something? Make sure you visit the Officer Tatum store. The Officer Tatum store where you get all the cool merch. Y'all know what it is. See you on the next one. I'm out.